Uh, first off, press one if you heard my little conversation with Mike Lowry last night. He's also known as Big Tech. Excalibur sent $5 people. Now is not the time for factionalism in the coalition. The reason the right often loses is from this very reason. It would set a bad example to not destroy a pedophile den due to petty, overly emotional reasons. Some folks need to chill out. So, I was alerted that Big Tech was doing a stream last night. Via yeah, Andy Worski's Twitter, that was kind of strange. Almost like it was coordinated, but who's to say, of course. But I was laying in bed, and I was like, let me check in on this retard. Because he's been saying a lot of retarded shit, and we'll go over that in a minute. And he's like, Big Tech's going off proper. And so I knew that was on some bullshit. So I turned it on. And I hear Big Tech attacking me. I hear him attacking Baked Alaska. And I hear him attacking Perspicacity. Now, I knew this already. I'll read this on your screen. This is Perspicacity on, on the YouTube community. It says, my father had a sudden devastating heart attack last week and passed over the weekend. A lot of people have reached out asking where I've been. It's been a tough week. I want to thank all my pals who've been real good guys. Squire, Brian, Godwinson, Ralph has been especially supportive and, I, and a really great guy throughout all this, and I want to give a special thanks to him. I'll be back. I just need a bit of time. I'm not one to hide who I am. I just wanted to say I love my dad. Remember to love your family and friends because you never know when they'll be gone. Now, I knew this already, uh, and I'd alluded to it. I said he was going through some personal things or whatever. It's not my story to tell, and so I didn't tell it. Um, but I heard Big Tech going off on his usual bullshit, if you want to know what I really think, and his contrarian BS just to be contrarian, and... I heard him attacking perspicacity and I got up out of my bed that I was already in. Golden Boy a Vicente Di Dollar Big Tech, pinche maricón a la verga chupate el pepe pepe wey. Thank you for that. I got up out of my bed that I was already in and I got on the call with him. And keep in mind he had been co-signing the ridiculous Kino Casino accusations. He'd been pumping that up. Going off at me for responding, which I don't regret at all. Um, he seems to think I don't have a right to reply when people are lying about me, when people are lying about my friends, when people are trying to divide the anti-America First Coalition for money. And that's never going to be me. I don't want to be that person. And if you think because I've made some changes that I'm going to completely subvert myself, that I'm going to change my mode of operation as far as responding to snakes and liars, that's never going to happen. That's never going to happen, and I don't want it to happen. And you taking shots at perspicacity, Mike, 200 Mike Lowry's aren't worth one Perspicacity. Period. Perspicacity was anti-America first before you even knew what this sector was. And if you want to talk about that, we can bring that up too. But just as a human being, 200 of you I wouldn't take for one Perspicacity. And that's the God's honest truth. I know you don't believe in God. But I wouldn't take that trade in a million years. And the fact that you were doing that got me out of bed. It got me out of bed and it got me on the call. And I don't regret anything I said on that call either. Of course, you've been obfuscating and lying for months. I did apologize for what I did. I stick to that as far as putting your kids out there, et cetera. That wasn't a good play. Um, that, that denigrated me more than anybody else. 
But the fact of the matter is, you kind of started that route. And I pulled up the clip last night, and you finally admitted that my wife saying like two words about you, after months of lying about this, by the way, my wife saying two words about you, sent you on a jihad, had you attacking her, had you attacking me, had you attacking my personal life. That was you that did that, Mike. And then last night, you did the most cynical thing I think I've ever seen you do by pumping up these faggots at the Kino Casino, pumping up their bullshit, which you admit it was bullshit. A doll wolf sent $3 BT and is just asking questions bit his old hat. He knows what he's doing he and only retards are falling for it. Maybe I should go around with your picture and ask women if you're gay. I'm not calling you gay. Just asking questions. Fucking retarded. It was completely ridiculous. He docks Baked Alaska. He docks Lulz. He was trying to dox my chief of staff. Taking shots at perspicacity, as I mentioned. He said power chat should be open source, which makes no sense whatsoever. All the money they spent on development, they should just put it out there for free and let anybody use it. He was trying to dox and reveal employees of power chat. Username is me name sent $3. You have given big tech so much exposure. You helped him on Cozy. You helped him after Cozy. 70% of his money is because of you. Ralph, it's time to finish him. Three strikes and you're out. Finish and then silent the nigga. Well, that's not really... I, I don't have any interest in a prolonged war with a liar and a dishonest actor. Now, I will go at Kino Casino um, because I feel like that's worth it. I feel like they're lying enough. They've been around enough. They've lied about me enough that I put that in a different category. But somebody like Mike Lowry is just doing this for attention. And if you watch what he did last night, he was using Power Chat the whole entire time. Then he said, I don't care. Power Chat's run by Nick Fuentes. I don't care about destroying America first. I only care about having fun. And they're having fun at the Kino Casino. Well, they didn't look like they were having too much fun yesterday. Looked like I was the one having fun. And he was mad that I put out the video of Worski in a dress, which he didn't have anything to say about Worski being a cross-dressing faggot. Just taking shots at perspicacity. Just taking shots at me. And doing all the other stuff I said. Um, trying to dox employees of Power Chat. I mean, pulling up all these documents, including documents with Bake's address on it, Lulz's address on it. I don't have any time for that. I don't have any time for that, and I don't have any time for his bizarre contrarian just for being a contrarian bullshit. And I'm not going to associate with him any longer. Period. Because he's not worth it, and he's not worth uh, my promotion. He's not worth being on my show. And this is probably going to be the last time you hear me talk about him. Because I don't want anything to do with him. I don't want him around me. He's a strange dude with his fake psychologist bullshit that he ripped off from Mr. Girl which I called out a long time ago. And I don't want anything to do with the guy because I'm doing something more important. And this whole thing is just a distraction manufactured by a crackhead and an 800-pound faggot. And the fact that he would pick that up in the most dishonest way. You know what? Some ways he's even more dishonest than them. Who are sent $3? Okay, I've been rowing with Kino Casino fags about Power Chat. They were trying to tell me streamers were using Power Chat to dox, but I was under the impression that streamers don't have access to the donator's personal info. Did I get this one wrong? They have access to whatever you put in there in terms of your name, but you can put any name you want. You don't have to actually put your name. So... You can put whatever you want there. You know, it's like that with Check It too. It's like that with anything that uses those payment processors. Power Chat doesn't have the info. It's it's just a pass through, which is another thing that's kind of been lost in the sauce. But Power Chat doesn't have that info. 
it goes to the individual streamer, and you can put whatever name you want there. And if you're worried about it, put a just put some just put John Doe or whatever. Just make up a name. I don't know. Um, yeah, you're right. Square doesn't. Not every single. So there's a black button that you can uh, donate with, and I don't usually talk about the payment processors, but yes, through Square, and it won't. So if you're really worried about it, you can just use the black button when you use PowerChat, and it won't pass along anything. <clears throat> it just shows the time of, and if there's a dispute or something like that, you'll be able to respond to a dispute. But, yes, yeah, Square is, is less identifying if you're worried about that. Or, and Teddy Fees is right, I love PowerChat, and I think it's added to the show, but you don't have to use PowerChat. You can also use Rumble Rants, which doesn't give any information. Uh, Killstream.live slash tip just shows the, the dollar amount and whatever name you put there, which is a username. Um, Cash App, if you have it set up, you know, with your own, like, more anonymous Cash App, it'll just show whatever name you have there. That's why I have all these options. And also because you never know when it's going to contract. Right? Like, you don't know when one's going to get knocked down, et cetera. So I try to have as many as possible. But in a lot of ways, uh, big tech was even more dishonest than them and saying that, oh, well, everybody knows they're lying and they don't try, they don't, you know, they don't even try to say they're telling the truth. First off, that's not true. That's a lie by him. Yes, and Anton's right. Use Square. It has lower OPSEC risk. Or use privacy.com to make a free privacy card. I'm glad you mentioned that because I've talked about that before, but I haven't talked about it in a while. But, yeah, it's a virtual card you can make and, like, anonymize your info. Um, but these guys don't admit that they're lying at all. And a lot of people take them at face value. And Big Tech, while he's saying they're lying, is basically taking them at face value. He said he hated all Christians. He got uppity with Asmodor, even, who called in with a very reasonable and fair call and wasn't on my side or Big Tech's side, kind of just, you know, wishing for the best. And you can go listen to that. He called in right after I did. And he starts getting uppity with Asmodor and compares him to King Pain Boo which was a huge insult, by the way. And Big Tech to be insulting a guy like Asmodor is just ridiculous. I would say that's even more ridiculous than insulting me. Now, Asmodor is a nice guy. He probably doesn't, you know, he probably maybe takes it a different way, but I was appalled. Anonymous sent $5. Kino Casino loved power chat till Mr. Medicare bullied them off of it. Well, that's what's about. Their position is if they can't use it, no one can. That's right. And they, I guess they thought they were going to bully me off of it. That's never going to happen. Motherfuckers ain't going to bully me. Now, I have other options, and I'm feel free to use those options. But I'm not abandoning power chat. I don't give a fuck what lie they make up. I don't give a fuck what big tech's saying. I made my position clear, and I made it clear to everybody. And if you don't like it, I don't give a fuck. And I brought Lowell's on here yesterday and asked him all the questions, critical ones as well, and he did answer everything. Now, he didn't dox his employees, which is smart if you're running a business just like, I'm not going to dox my chief of staff. Just like, it's none of your goddamn fucking business, Mike Lowry. And if you don't like it, you can suck up and bust, as my daddy used to say. Because I'm not going to be bullied. I don't give a fuck. And people can take that however they want to take it. Let, let the chips fall where they may. And that's how I've always been. Now, people can accuse me of a lot of things, but they can't accuse me of being a fake motherfucker. Now, they can accuse me of being wrong. <laughs> they can accuse me of taking the wrong position or doing this dumb shit here or this dumb shit there, for sure. And they would be right on certain occasions. Adal Wolf sent $3 power chat is not the payment processor. 
Enough. It's a program that forwards payments from your Google wallet to a Stripe or Square account etc. The only information collected is what is legally required by Stripe and Square per anti-wire fraud laws. That's true. Uh, and I'm fine with people having their own opinion about PowerChat. Jaden was mentioned. I understand why he doesn't use it. I'm not taking a side on his dispute with Lulz. I only brought it up because it was super chatted in. It wasn't my idea to get into that, but if somebody sends me money and wants a question asked, it was an open forum. I wanted to ask Lulz as many things as people wanted to ask him, and I had my own questions too. But no, I haven't attacked Jaden. Not going to. I understand his position. It's not my position. And I'm not going to drop power chat. And people can take that however they want to take it. But I've used power chat for almost two years. It's been good to me. It's been good to the show. And unlike those two faggots at the Kino Casino, I don't get bullied. I'm not going to switch my position on power chat just because they're making up a bunch of lies and they got a gaggle of retards trying to promote those lies. Because I'm made of stronger stuff. Anonymous sent $5 people forget how long it took the casino to recover from not being able to use power chat. They didn't stream for weeks cause they couldn't get paid. They want that to happen to you. They want that to happen to me, and honestly I have other ways. I could drop power chat if I wanted, but I don't want to. And I have no reason to. And I'm, it's just not going to happen. So they can bleed on for the rest of eternity, but I'm not dropping power chat. And I don't give a fuck what Mike Lowry decides to promote. I'm not dropping power chat, and neither is he, by the way. While he was doing all this last night, he was getting donations through power chat. I mean, it just defies belief. It is completely incredulous. And his attacks on bait for no reason. His attacks on perspicacity for no reason. His attacks on my staff for no reason. He can say he's, you know, whatever he wants to do. I, I'll take the heat. Attack me, motherfucker. But attacking those people trying to dox power chat employees fuck you i don't want you around me and i'm not going to be dealing with you again and you can take this and i'm sure you will and you can play it on your show because this is going to be the last time i talk about your bitch ass now if you want to go in on af i support that i think you should get back to that but I'm not Mike Legit Sounded Manic last night sent $3. Kino Casino celebrated just last week that they added a PayPal payment option, which arguably has the worst op second of all. PPP just wants to burn Power Chat down like he did with NP. It's a replay. And nothing anyone can say or prove will stop that. It's a replay. But um, I wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors because I'm not going to have anything to do with it. And, you know. Things can change. Maybe if you came out and recanted all your bullshit from last night, I would be more open to it. But I don't I don't see that happening. And I don't see my stance changing. And just going back and forth with you for days or weeks, um, it's a distraction for me. It's a distraction for what I'm doing. And just gives you content. Now I'm gonna I'm addressing it today at the top of the show. But I don't have anything else to say about it going forward and you know you can go watch a stream last night for yourself but it was an absolute travesty and he's defending ppp for being fat but apparently i can't be fat this nigga is literally like 350 pounds heavier than me at least 250 and i'm losing weight i'm 205 pounds He's at least 450 pounds. He's defending Warsi's lies. He's doing all the shit I just mentioned. I don't want him around me. I, I took the art down at the top of the show. I'm not going to be, and it's really good art, but I don't want that fucker on my screen. I don't want him associated with me. 
and I don't want him here, and he's not going to be here. Now, I still support any attacks on AF. Um, you know, if he gets back to, you know, actually doing what should be done, maybe that's not fun enough for him. But I don't want anything to do with the guy. And he's talking about Ralph threatened to, um, I don't know, redox his children or something. I don't know what he was even saying. Uh, no, I didn't. I treated you with the same energy you were treating me with. And I don't regret that at all. I don't take back anything I said last night. And I won't be changing my mode of operation as far as addressing faggots who lie about me. Except you. Because you're not worth my time. And you can take that however you want to take it. I'm sure you're listening right now. You can play it on your show today. You can go at me for weeks. But I'm not going to be participating. So do what you want to do. But... You've been blacklisted for my show, and I don't want anything to do with you. And that's just the way it is. With your appalling behavior that was actually worse. Even the casino didn't do the things I was talking about. Maybe with one or two exceptions there. But you actually were more depraved and more wicked than they were. Which is hard to believe. But it, it showed me that I was the fool. And I had people telling me not to trust you, by the way, including the chief of staff. Saying, don't trust this guy. You're giving him too much time. You're giving him too much promo. He's a snake. He's going to snake. And I didn't listen. And I actually overruled that. It's like, nah, you know what? It's all good. I shouldn't have done that. And we're all good now. Ah, uh, whatever. It's in the past. Big Tech's cool. But he's not. He's clearly not. And it would be one thing if he was just attacking me. I can handle it. I've had people piling on me for years. I've walked through the fire and come out the other side. And don't mind going back in. And I even messaged Laws and Baked, and I was like, you know what? Let me take the heat. Stay away from this fucker. I don't give a fuck. Turn up the heat on me, but don't engage with this faggot. Anonymous sent $5. Big Tech is just a histrionic sissy. You came in to talk about Power Chat, and he just turned it into Butrav. You used to bully me, That's and right. I'm still in my feels. That's, That's right. why Power Chat is just like nigga. What are you even trying to say, lol? It made no sense. If anything, I'm underselling just how appalling it was. I'm not kidding. This is not hyperbole. And I came in, he's like, he came in hot. I was in the chat pretty hot. But if you listen to me coming in the call, I was very calm and was very reasonable with everything I was saying and was knocking back his bullshit just every time. And then he took it into, well, Ralph, you did this and did that. I guess he wanted me to apologize again. Well, that ain't going to happen. Then he said, I took back my apology. No, I didn't. But if you want to relitigate the past, well, let's just tell the truth about what the past actually was. And what you actually did. And how you took it there first. Now that's not really something I wanted to do. But you're not some squeaky clean guy. And trying to give that impression is in just complete bullshit. You sent me Dalton Clodfelter's docs just last week. That I didn't ask for. Now... Fuck America first. I think we all agree on that. And far be it for me. You know, doxing's out there. I've talked about that forever. But let's not, let's not put off some false bullshit. You know what you are. And you know what you do. And to act like some moral authority, a godless heathen like yourself is ridiculous. 
So I'm no longer going to be humoring that sort of bullshit. And again, fuck Dothan. I don't care. But let's just put it all out there. Had some crayon for five in the Rumble Rants this morning, Ralph. Hope you're having a good day. Keep on smashing it, brother. Well, I am. But I wanted to give it a, a full-throated address here at the top. And I'm not going to spend too much more time on it. But it was ridiculous. And it was what he was saying about perspicacity, honestly, that got me up out of bed. Just completely treacherous. Now, you know, I don't know that he knew about what perspicacity he's been dealing with. I can't say that. But I knew. I knew. And it made me sick. And you talk about Kino Casino. Well, perspicacity is the whole creator of that fucking show. And they would be homeless on the street if he hadn't donated his time to lifting those two retards up. And I'm sure he regrets it. And I, I regret lifting one of those retards up several times myself. But shit happens. Punished Farfour sent $3. You've got to admire the audacity of a man that gives a four-hour TED talk on ethics in payment processes while still taking donations through the exact same payment processor he's seething and throwing accusations I over. I could not even believe that aspect of it. Anonymous sent $5. He tried to get you denounce God on yeah, stream. Did. Lol, guys, a fucking weirdo. Yeah, he did do that. And he's got this complex about Christianity. And I played the recording on Cozy where he's in a Discord call talking about he doesn't believe in Catholicism, but that he's going to sign up anyway to grift more efficiently on Cozy. And he's going to do it anyway, even though he's an atheist, blah, 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 blah. That's true. That happened. I mean... <laughs> Does he have an answer for that? Of course not. <laughs> no. No, he has no. Not a good one that I've ever heard. And it was fucked up then and it's fucked up now. If you want to talk about the past, out of the past, well, let's pull a few things out of the past. Great movie, by the way. That was completely ridiculous then. It's completely ridiculous now. And you're complex about... Christianity, and oh, I don't trust you if you're a Christian. Well, I don't trust you because you're big tech. I don't care that you're an atheist. I don't care if anybody's in the chat is an atheist. I have friends who are. At one point in time, I was back in the back in the day. So that doesn't offend me at all. What offends me is lying, is treachery, is attacking my friends for no reason trying to dox my employees for no reason, trying to dox Power Chat employees for no reason, doxing Baked Alaska, doxing lulls. That's what offends me. And not because I'm against doxing. Because you're doing that just to fuck with me, to try to grift off this Power Chat bullshit that was started up by Andy Perez and Ashton Parks. And it's a cynical play for money. And I just talked about this yesterday. There's plenty enough money out there. You don't have to make up fake shit. <laughs> Nothing I've said today is fake. Nothing I said yesterday was fake. It was all real. All of it. I didn't have to freelance. I didn't have to go into the Kino Casino strategy of just making up bullshit. No, I just told the truth. Now, apparently, you think that's better for your pocketbook to come out here and lie and boost their bullshit. And that's a decision you made. That's We're all grown men here, right? You're perfectly free to make that decision. But I'm perfectly free to decide my own associations, and I don't want you around me. And 
against my ad- <laughs> counsel, I overruled him and said, no, nah, Big Tech's cool, and he was cool before, and, and maybe it was, you know, it's partially my fault that I took it, you know, so far. But they were right. <laughs> they were right. And I wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. And as I said, I wouldn't trade one perspicacity for 200 Mike Lowry's slash big techs. And my heart goes out to perspicacity, and I've talked to him in private. If you know him, send him something nice. I've been through my father dying. I've been through my mother dying. And there aren't too many things even close to that in scale. And I've said this before. If you have your parents still here, don't squander that time. Don't squander that time because you're not going to get it back when they're gone. So those are my thoughts on Big Tech. Those are my thoughts on Mike Lowry. And I don't have anything else to say about that. Now, what else do we have today? Well, Ramsey Paul is supposed to come on, I think, around 6 or 7. I'll have to check back in on that. Uh, he said he was good to go to today, I think, on Sunday. Yeah, 7. Okay, sounds good. He just he just messaged me. So, again, other people can say whatever they want. He can say whatever he wants, but um, I'll just let those comments stand. And um, they let the chips fall where they may. Let the chips fall where they may. Now, it's t- it's tough for me to. <laughs> I have more that I could say for sure, but I wanted to keep it focused uh, and keep it relatively short. I did talk about it for twenty or thirty minutes, but um, you know, I. I'm loyal to the people you decide to attack, and I just saw Not Sorry say that. I wish I had friends like you, Rob Bass. Well, thank you for saying that. Um, I was deeply disturbed. I shouldn't have got on the call in the first place, but I did, and so it is what it is. I knew better than that, but, you know, all you can do, as I've said the last few weeks, is learn from your mistakes Accept that you made the mistake and try to adjust your behavior, try to adjust your posture going forward. And that goes for what's happened in my private life. That goes for what happens in my public life, too. And I don't regret uh, outreaching a hand. I don't regret that stuff in a lot of ways. Maybe I should have listened to certain people. But I wouldn't be me if I didn't have that streak in me, right? And usually chief of staff is right. I will give them that. But there are occasions when I'm right too. (laughs) And I've been at this a while, and I don't want to close shit down. I don't want to silo myself off, like I said before. So I'm not going to change my nature but i i've i've learned that that's not in this instance um it it was the wrong it was the wrong play thank you for watching this clip this is the caca remember to like and subscribe